Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, I explain you how you can get your unsigned APK if you want to install that on your physical device. So this unsigned APK is under the output folder of APK debug directory. I explain how you can get in the previous video. But this unsigned APK you can't upload on Google Play Store as you know that so how you can generate signed apk in react native that i am going to explain for that we what we have to do we have to open a browser and here we type react native signed apk so it will go to the first website publishing to google play store react native so here we have a steps by official website what we have to do so first of all we have to copy this so i copy this command remember this and this command we have to execute remember that we have it with this file will generate my upload key dot key store file and we have to copy this file under the android app directory remember this android app directory we have to copy this file so by default by this we can go to this folder remember so i close this first of all application then i am in the my root directory so from the root directory from the root directory i go to the android directory from the android i go to the app directory remember that now i am in the app directory so i have to upload this file or i have to save this file into the android under android an app directory so directly i reach to this directory and here i paste this command because this command will generate this file the file name is my upload key key store so i press enter it will ask some information that enter key store password so remember this password because it will be used when you upload on google play store so here i am saying one two three only just for example enter too short so we have at least six characters so i say one two three four five six so i press this then re-enter one two three four five six remember you can change your password and it's saying what is your first and last name so first name i say doctor weapon last name kumar then organization we can say weapon soft private limited anything we can write whatever we want to write city we can say daily then we have a state so we can say daily then we have a two letter of the country code of that india so i say in then you see this is the information which is saved by this certification and i say yes remember i say yes so it generate the key the file is generated and automatically this file is under the app directory this app directory we have this file and uh, i close this you see we have a my upload key dot key store this file is here remember now what we have to do next step so first step to generate this file then next step is to copy this remember copy this and we have to go to the griddle under the android we have a griddle dot property remember that if you want to hide this because if you are using a github and you will upload your code on github as explained here then what you have to do you have to create this type of directory tilde and then under the hidden directory of griddle then here you have to write your code but if you are not using griddle then you can use here android slash griddle dot property because i am just using for testing purpose so i can go here also android and griddle dot property so i open there and android under the android directory uh, we have a griddle dot property remember otherwise we can have the tilde operator and then we go to the we have to create here we do not have but we have to create this directory 
tilde operator because this is for linux purpose because it is for linux when if you are using a linux then we have a tilde operator there we have a hidden directory gradle there then we have a gradle dot property so which one you want to uh, select that you have to check so you can create this directory if you want to secure your information on github i don't want to secure so i am just explaining you this gradle file we have to open and under this gradle file i have to uh, paste this option so file name is same key store my key alices same and here i have to write the password so i say one two three four five six both the password which i use is one two three four five six the so same i have to upload here save this close this so one second thing is completed now we have to copy this we have to go to the app directory build.gradle file and there we have to use this option sign config release option remember that this option we need to copy from here and we have to paste this and here this is also release this i have to use so i open this in app directory i open build.gradle file and here we go for uh, signing configuration setting you see we have a default sign in option here default config this is the signing option remember debug option so here i say copy paste remember this is signing option so under the signing option i have to i just control replace this because signing option is there so i have to copy release option remember that i have to copy this release option and in this file because we have a debug option for generating a debug file so i paste here for release option so if this file is available if this file is available this file then it will have password also in my file so we have a release option so i save this also one more thing we have to set we have to say build type and here we have to copy this also in build type so this is build type and we here we have release option also so under the release option uh, what i have to do under release option i have to copy this so sign config this is the so i paste it here so this option i need so means i need debug also i need release also so i save this all and i paste this if you, i close this application so we have to configure this much of thing for generating a signed apk now we have to go for android directory and there we have a gradle w build release we have to execute this command under the android directory so that will generate that will that will build this abb release dot abb file in the output directory that we can upload on google play store so i go to the android directory remember this so this is the android directory and here i need to put this command build release and enter if everything would be okay then this command will execute and it will build the abb file you see that now successfully we have built or apk after a long period of 10 minutes at build now we can check in build directory we go to build directory remember there and in build directory we have the output directory then we have apk directory uh, here we have the same debug directory you see that under the bundle directory here in the apk directory you see we have a debug directory there we have the unsigned apk but under the bundle remember that in bundle we have a release directory so under this release directory we have a a release dot aab so this aab is not a apk it's a release file signed apk that we can upload on google play store so you can copy this file this is released file and now if i try to execute this react native application with the these option remember that one more thing is given here if the mode is released so i copy this and once again i try to run this in release mode then 
it will generate apk also if you required so i just go to my root directory of my application so now i am in my root directory so i paste this command so in a mode in place of debug mode i am running it in execution mode but for that i have to remove this file from this emulator remember because it will reinstall the file so i just close this and i just un i also uh, uninstall this application first of all this one so yeah this file is not available now so now i release this now i run this command once again so this command will run in a release mode and this will install in my simulator and this simulator now will install a final copy of the apk remember that final copy of after the releasing after the signed apk so the now signed apk will install in my simulator so it will install apk also so now you see that in output directory we have a apk directory and in this apk we have the debug directory but we do not have a release directory now we see that it will create or not but when we generate the signed apk it come in the bundle then we have a folder release then we have app release dot aab uh, file this aab is the signed file similar to apk that we upload in google play store nowadays google play store does not allow apk file it allow aab file to be upload remember this so here you see we uh, earlier we did not have a release folder remember that we did not have a release folder but when i execute it in release mode so it created a release folder also and here we have a apk release dot apk remember that app release dot apk file is there so if you want apk file signed apk file then go to release folder here but if you want unsigned file then go to debug folder remember that now we have both apk we have a signed apk this apk we can install in our mobile physical mobile and it would not give any error that your apk is not signed but it will may give some error that your apk is not signed and it may have a virus like this warning may come but in this release file would not have any kind of warning but if you will install this on google play store it will it will not allow nowadays we have only option to upload aab file so this is the aab aab file so this file you can upload on google play store remember that this file you can install on google play store this file you can install in your physical mobile both are same these are released apk file apk release means they are signed file so both the way we can have this so i have shown you that how you can get your aab file i explain you so you see this file is installed now it is not in debug mode so automatically this come this stop this is uh, you can stop automatically now we have a simulator in this simulator we have this application now you can test this application if everything is okay that means your signed apk is okay and now you can copy this and you can install on your physical device in last video i have explained you how you can uh, have sign unsigned apk in this video i explain you how you can have signed apk and how you can have your aab file also to upload on google play store so both the things i have explained you in this video i think this video is knowledgeable for you if you have learned something from this video if you like this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.